there is something that is a true mystery that certain organizations keep to themselves. They make oaths. And they'll tell you that the sun is just a ball of fire above your head, giving you vitamin D. When in actuality, the sun is not a ball of fire. Heat rises. Am I correct? Yeah. So if heat rises, it's not falling to us. If you take a match and you strike it, and turn it upside down, the lighter will flip around to the side and burn your finger. Why? Because the heat and the flames is being pulled up by a magnet that is over top of our heads. This is why everything grows up, grass, trees, heat. So if we have just established that the sun is not fire, And from the reality of what I've seen, it is a magnet, a very distinct magnet. And it has consciousness right in the heart of it, which speaks to our heart. So through the tampering of the sun, by way of chemtrails and chemicals being sprayed into the atmosphere, it can exert or it can change the language of the sun between us and it to tell our hearts to vibrate at a certain frequency, which will control the spine, which is very, very a deep, very deep mystery. We have 33 vertebrae that act as piano keys to the sun. And when the sun is out of tune with you, the keys is being struck in your vertebrae at a low vibratory rate, and the tune is off, which sends that serpent or the electricity through your spine to the brain, causing you to be off. You see, your perception is beyond that which you see through those two holes in your head. Your perception is beyond what your, what your brain is allowing you to see or to perceive in this realm of physicality. Does the sun have perception? Does the plants have perception? Of course. It is that perception which is beyond anything that we could even perceive. Everything that is unseen is a manifestation of that which is already seen. I'm going to say that again. Everything that is unseen is a manifestation of that which is already seen. What do I mean by that? Because everything starts in the unknown or in the unseen or which they say the underworld. Your mind is an underworld which brings every idea into the jurisdiction of the seen or the ability to foresee things that you will build upon thought because every thought is something that can be felt when it is manifested beyond the idea itself. And the idea itself is the soul of the finished product which is that house, which was an idea, or the car that you built, which was an idea, or that child which you gave birth to, which was an idea in the realm of consciousness. Everything that will be birthed, whether it is an idea or a person, is already here. It's just that that unseen or that underworld or that unknown is gradually placing it on a wheel of time. And that wheel of time, when it is finished dealing with the product and the unknown or the unseen, it will give it to the physicality as a product and a third party to resonate, to feel, to 
to communicate with, to evolve with, but never to die because death is only an illusion. Death is something that is made by man. We have to understand or overstand that the word death at one time never existed because death is an English language. And we know that at one time the English language did not exist. So what was death before the word death existed? It was nothing. It was just another form or a beginning of a cycle of a seed that will grow into its intelligence or intellect going in and out, weaving in the unknown into the known and the unknown into the known, back and forth, up and down, negative and positive, challenge and foreseeing itself from its depths. You are consciousness. You are not the body. You are not that thing, that big piece of flesh that you see staring back at you in the mirror. It is only a vehicle that you keep up in your journey as experiencing human life. But what you are is that thing that dwells outside of time even outside of space. This is where you derive. Even though you're in a physical body, you are somewhere else. It don't feel like it because the brain is not telling you that. That's because your contract as a human is made here. And so therefore your perception is here, but you are not here. So you don't have to be where your perception is. This world is an imagination that you once created in another life. Every imagination is a pre-perception that you will evolve into, whether living in that perception or causing that perception to be something that someone else will experience beyond the meaning of your expression. Your expression that has a minimum lifespan in the component of the matrix, but an infinite reality somewhere that is unseen from the physical eye, unseen from any sense that can be a third party within the jurisdiction of humanity. Humanity is not the only existence that has a third party expression using this force that we call consciousness. Scientists must come into a realization that there are other forms who are celestial inhabitants far beyond any planet that are in relationship to the things of the ocean, that are in relationship to the things of the forest, the Amazons and those places that we see on earth as Iceland and things of that nature, Greenland, places that we never talk about. The 78% unaccounted for life. That if humanity were to run into these life forms, it would blow their mind. There are elements on other planets other than water, air, earth, and fire that we don't know about. There are sounds on other planets that can be planted in the soil here and cause seeds to grow within an hour. 
There are colors on other planets that we don't know about. Never seen. So beautiful. So pure. That if our eyes were to lay sight on these colors. That the illnesses that we have on this planet. Will automatically vanish. <laughs>